Up here. Oh, no. Oh. Do I just uh, keep it here? He? Okay. Is it a him? <laughs> I mean, I think you should know. You're his. Uh, he's yours. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. I guess I just, uh. pet him. Not a dog person. Very neutral on dogs. I understand and appreciate that they bring a lot of people a lot of joy, but uh, whenever I used to see someone's dog and pet it, I, I feel the urge to wash my hands after, which is practically just unnecessary. I know. To touch human beings all the time, or be in their airspace. How much more disgusting are human beings, you know? <laughs> There's something about fur and saliva and just had to duck into the bathroom and wash my hands. So I wasn't really sure about this app, but there's a promo code on the daily and the other apps, therapy apps were full up and I thought, huh, maybe this is exactly what I need. Emergency therapy with the therapy dog on demand as needed. We come to you, it's like the Uber for therapy. I, I don't really want like a weekly appointment where I awkwardly chat with a stranger about my mom or whatever. That sounds heinous, but I do have <laughs> I always break down the law. <sighs> so I thought, wow, this might be exactly it. <laughs> oh, I'd like to send a therapist with the therapy dog. So, can I talk to you? Am I supposed to talk? No? Okay. Just a dog? Okay. Am I supposed to talk to you? I'm sorry, I feel like I should offer you coffee or something. You're in my house, but I kind of don't have the ability to get out of this situation. Last time this happened, I think I was here for maybe a day and a half. Luckily, the shower's right here. So I'd work my way up to the shower and then I'd <laughs> sit right back down. The whole world was shrinking anyway, so there's literally nothing outside of this bathtub, so why leave? Did you ever go again? My wife was in Taiwan on a business trip when everything shut down. We were supposed to start trying for a kid. <laughs> Uh, for a kid, when she got back, we even started tracking her cycles. She put her ovulation days on our Google calendar with little heart emojis. First little heart was on March, March 20th, 2020. 
she's still there. You know how many COVID deaths there are in, they've had 12, not yesterday, not this month, but to date, 12. Holy shit, I mean, yeah, why would you come back to the States once you could stay somewhere where people actually cared about each other, you know? I don't think she left me. Oof. Oof. Oh, that's hard. That part is I don't think she's that. But we still talk all the time. I mean, last time this happened, I FaceTimed her until my battery ran out. It was the middle of the night where she was, and she still woke up. So, and she was just so kind to me. But she won't, hasn't come back. She told me to get a dog. So do you get benefits with this app or anything? I mean, what the fuck am I asking that for? What a dumb fucking question. I'm using a promo code. <laughs> you want some vodka? Whether we have been here for generations or have just arrived as a new American, Asian Americans are integral to the fabric of America. Our mission is to advance the civil and human rights of Asian Americans and to promote a fair and equitable society for all. Asian Americans Advancing Justice, AJC, is deeply committed to our communities, and we will continue to advocate for all our voices to be heard.